In this new filing, attorneys for former Senate President Stan Rosenberg and his husband Brian Hefner are calling on the court to remove the cloak of anonymity and reveal the name of the man known as John Doe, who says he was sexually assaulted by Hefner. The man, who has only been identified in his lawsuit as a former Beacon Hill legislative aide and resident of Middlesex County, says Hefner boasted about his influence over Beacon Hill and sexually assaulted him on several occasions, including in Rosenberg's home and car. The man says Rosenberg was aware Hefner was a danger and still allowed him access to his phone, email, staff and people with business at the State House. You have to see this as an intimidation tactic because there's no reason the defense attorneys need the victim's name to be revealed. They know who the victim is. They're going to be able to have a fair trial. Victims advocate Wendy Murphy says the tradition of the court is not to reveal the identity of sexual assault victims. It's not that victims should feel shame and therefore we should hide their identity. It's that these types of cases involve private body parts. And the only way we can protect against the gratuitous disclosure of things about their private bodies is not to reveal their identities. And that doesn't happen to victims of other kinds of crimes. Now, Rosenberg's attorney declined to comment beyond what's in this motion, saying he is confident the court will fairly adjudicate this matter. Last